Alrighty, welcome back. Today's the big day, and Jolene's looking amazing. She always looks amazing. Uh, and how I know is I woke up with her. <laughs> uh, what's going on is we have the fear in the paint room. We have it all taped off. Uh, we washed it down with Windex. That's what I pre-wash everything down with is Windex because I like how it dissipates. I think I explained that over and over and over, but that's what I washed it down with. I use Spray 9 for wax and grease remover. You would never use Spray 9 before you paint something. It's Windex, what I use before I pre-wash, before I paint. Uh, we've blown it down, washed it down. Uh, what's going on is I've got some places where the red paint is showing through. I've got some places where we've got some filler on, some places where it had picks and scratches and a few odds and ends. Uh, we've got paint showing through the bumper here. We've got paint showing through on the door. Uh, we've got a little primer down here where there was a where the paint peeled off. I just sanded it, tried to feather it off a little bit so we could carry on. Uh, this is a, a freebie for for Tim. Uh, we're painting his Fiero and uh, trying to do the best job we can for the quickest amount of time we can. Uh, but what's going to happen right now is I'm not going to paint the car with all the different colors looking like this. Uh, if you ever seen a car that's looks that's got blotches in it and uh, you can see through it and that sort of stuff, um, what, what has happened is they didn't throw uh, a value shade on it. And basically what a value shade is, when you buy your paint, they'll give you a value shade to tell you what color your car should be before you paint it. And basically what I'm saying is your car should be all one color before you paint it. And uh, that's what we want to do. So... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on a coat of epoxy sealer. Um, everybody wants to put epoxy on, uh, on the bare metal before you, when, after you, I don't know what to say. Like, this is what I use epoxy sealer for. It doesn't matter what everybody else does. I'm going to tell you what I do. This is what I use epoxy sealer for. I will come in and put a coat of epoxy sealer on the whole thing to make it one color and... I can come back in 20 minutes later without sanding it, I can put a coat of paint on it. That's basically what I use epoxy sealer for. Uh, the primer I use for, for build, uh, scratch work, uh, straightening things out, it's a sort of a filler. So basically I'm going to go over this whole car. You can see I've got a little bit of black showing around the, we had some paint issues there around the gas cap. We've got some red showing on the door, got some red showing here, got some red showing there, got a little filler showing there. Basically, we do not want that, so that's what I'm going to use epoxy sealer for. Let's go out. I'm going to throw together a gun. hope I explained that well. Uh, so, when your car is many different colors or you've got different colors on it, what I'm saying before you paint your car is just a suggestion. You do as you please. But I, I would try to make it all one color. And uh, how I'm going to make it all one color is, is I'm going, to, I'm going to put a coat of epoxy sealer on it. And what the epoxy, this is called epoxy primer sealer. So what I'm saying is, or what I'm, think, what I'm using it for, I'm using it for before I put the paint on, and I'm going to make it all one color. It's going to seal the red in the gray and give me one playing field to put a coat of paint on. Also, if you've ever seen a coat of paint um, that you can see through or you, or you can see different colors in it or darkness or lightness or whatever, what has happened is, what has happened is someone has done all their fantastic body work and uh, basically the car was not guide or value shade it what value shade i explained already once value shade is where you make it one color for your paint results the best so if you had a um a red car like like we're doing in here they probably would suggest probably a black or something like that i generally find that black does it best i need to get an end for this i find that black does it best but uh with with the colors that I have on it, as long as I make it one color, I should be fine. And that's what I'm going to do with the epoxy sealer. Make it one color. Make it one color. 
<laughs> I'm gonna cut one of these open. Scissors right over there. Stick with us and I'll show you. Probably should have done this beforehand, but I did not. Shame, shame. Didn't, didn't want that to happen, but it did. Put a new end on it. My guess was wrong that time. So this gun I just buy at Princess Auto. It's just a, I think $39.99. You can get them on sale, I think they are now. Uh, but what I do is I like to use these guns because I can use one for any paint job. Now what will happen is the one that I've been using for painting will end up going for a primer gun. And I think I've already turned it into a primer gun. And uh, that's okay. I'm going to run a little thinner through it just because sometimes these things have a little... Uh, Maybe a little oil or a little grease because they're a brand new gun. Da, 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 da. So this epoxy sealer is a four to one. So I got four parts the epoxy and one part hardener. And uh, we're going to make it all one color. We're going to then, me and Jolene will probably, uh, we'll flock off and we'll go to maybe Subway, have a little something to eat for breakfast maybe. Um, we'll let the epoxy set and then we'll be back to paint. So basically this, this video here will be about epoxying your car, epoxy sealer. So it's all one color. And uh, I have made this mistake myself um, a few times. A few times. It took me a couple times to learn. I'm a slow learner sometimes. Uh, it took me a few times, but when you're painting a car and you've got different colors on it, you want to make sure, or try to make sure, that you get it all one color. And then you'll have a better result. You'll be much happier with your progress. I, I can guarantee it. And if you do not, entirely up to you. So, um, with all the converse, uh, controversy about uh, epoxy sealer, uh, this is a fine example for what I use it for. I generally don't use it any other time other than before I paint because I do not have to sand it. That's, and it makes the vehicle one color. So I'm going to wipe this off. We'll open her up. There's my primer gun. My old paint gun is my primer gun now. I'm going to wipe this bad boy out. I don't know if I got another one of those or not. I can use a Tim Hortons cup. Yes, I can. Probably what I'll do. Just use a Tim Hortons cup. Just as good as anything. I always throw a little thinner in my Tim Hortons cup before I, I mix any paint in it. And, this, and the reason I'll tell you why I do that is because there's a little tiny, sometimes I found there's a little wax in there uh, inside the cup that can give you a fish eye. It's very small, but it can happen. And uh, that's what I do. Alrighty. So it's four to one for the epoxy. Today's the big day. Today's the big day. I know you would think that the red paint would just cover that and uh, it would be perfect, but <laughs> I hate to tell you, generally it's not. Just wanted to check and see if it was well stirred or well shook, I'm sorry. Just wanted to check that. I've, I've made the mistake and, and poured it in and it wasn't completely stirred and then you have a mess. It says four to one, that bad boy. my glasses right back 
What's that? It says two to one. Good thing I went and got my glasses and checked. Two to one. I could have messed up just like that. So we'll go on the one to one scale. It says one to one. It says one to one. So if I go one there for the for the epoxy, one to one. So I go one for the epoxy hardener. Where it's two to one, I go two parts epoxy. Two, oh, I might as well do the two to one scale here. Two parts epoxy, two to one. That's what we're mixing it. Two parts to one. So two parts epoxy. And if I go to two on here, that'd be one part hardener. Sorry for the confusion. Two to one is when I'm mixing it. One, two for the epoxy. So it mixes it there for you. It's two to one, two part epoxy. And then that would give you one part of the hardener. So I'm going to use probably, I'm going to use a full gun full here. I'm going to go to the, to the four mark. So as you can see, I'm going to go four and that'll be four. So I'll go four up there with the epoxy and four to the, with the hardener. And if I need more, I'll have to come up and mix it. And I can go a little bit above the four just because of the shape of the cup. Don't know why I shook that, but whatever. So we're going to four. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to spray it, going to leave it, and then we're going to paint right over top of it. Also, um, this will help. Like we, we know there's clear coat on the car. We know that there was spray bomb on the car. We know that there was uh, urethane on the car. And what happens is this will seal it all down so we can put a nice coat of red paint on it. We are going to use a, a single stage urethane. That's what I'm going to use on it. And uh, basically I'm going to use a single stage urethane because why not? Uh, base clear takes more time and takes more effort and it takes uh, a finer grit sandpaper. We did, we, we, we went with a 400. Um, that's, that's the finest that we went with is a 400. So what I'm saying is you would have to go with a six or even an eight if you want to paint your base clear. It's a really fine, I don't know if I'm going to get that all covered with one cup. I can hardly doubt it. Hardly do it, but I can mix another one as um when I get ready. We're just gonna spray one just even nice nice coat on it to make it one color. It's a big job here when I'm doing so much work, like so much work in here, like you know, cutting frames, sand and filler. Just making a complete mess full time. It's a big job here to get a car painted once, you know. We cleaned everything out. We blew everything off. We should get a pretty good job, but it's just a big job here for me to, you know, break down and do a paint job. The fan works. Jolene's got her mask on.
and this is a good time to practice how you're going to paint the car. Good time to practice. the other side. Eh, yeah. get some more. Got the back bumper, back trunk lift. Gonna go to three. So we'll get this sprayed, get it all one color, and then we'll let it set for 20 minutes, a half hour. We do not have to sand it. We can just go in and spray it. Oh, 
should have fucking should have filtered that. Should have filtered that. Well, this time. Cover's a little warpy. There we go. Nope. It's probably the only downfall of these guns, probably, is the cover. Happy. Hood was the problem area. Well, that's going to get the most low. Good. So, we're all one color. We're all one color, so when we throw the paint on, we'll have no issues with, with coverage. Basically, um, it'll all be one color, and uh, that's basically the end of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that set. We're going to leave that alone, let that do its magic, and the magic is going to be is to seal the car off so I can paint it. You liking my hair is what you're liking? Basically. Uh, now I'm just going to clean out the gun, and uh, we'll end up turning the fan off after a bit, after it clears out. Also, if there's any issues, 
that we see before we paint, we possibly could fix. You know, we possibly could fix. I wouldn't start ramming sandpaper on it right quick. No, I would not. Um, let it dry. And uh, if there's any dust or pieces that we want to take out or wipe off or whatever, we can do that. Um, we should be fine. So, we've got a brand new $39 gun. Uh, we've got the car epoxied in one color. It does not have to be sanded to be painted. That's what I use the epoxy sealer for. You use it for whatever you want to use it for. You're more than welcome. But that's what I use it for. Um, basically, oh, Jolene wanted me to do something just for shits and giggles. Did you want me to do that? So, yeah. I, lo I was going to, I forgot, and I should have, I was going to epoxy uh, a piece of metal and throw it outdoors and at the exact same time prime a piece of metal and throw it outdoors and then you could be the judge of what works and what doesn't. And basically what I was, what I'm, was saying is that if I epoxied a piece of metal and I, or I primed a piece of metal the epoxy piece would rust, rust way faster than the prime piece of metal, was what I'm saying. All right, everybody, I'm going to let you go. We've got it epoxied. Next time you see us, we'll be painting it. Have a good one.